what we have here is a Nintendo on a chip portable, which I'm working on making. What you're seeing on the screen right now is actually an entire NES system on one tiny little circuit board. It emulates the original hardware. This chip here with the black glop top on it uh, has about 70 uh, ROMs on the system. Um, this is taken from a Super Joy 3. You can find those at malls or on eBay, Amazon, all that. Um, and I've been working on this for some months and actually paused for quite a while because I'm trying to run it all off of just four AA batteries. Now the screen I'm using actually needs more than that. It has a 7805 linear regulator on it and that requires uh, about seven and a half volts or more uh, in order for it to operate, in order for it to drop uh, that voltage down to five volts for other parts of the circuitry that's on the board. The backlighting I uh, modified with some super bright LEDs. Um, the original backlighting is really dinky and so I cut off some of the side of the um, diffusing plastic and uh, shown some LEDs into the backlight, into the diffusing box and uh, have that running off the 5 volts. I have a single 8 ohm speaker, speaker and over here is my power switch and this is my voltage booster which takes that uh, about 6 volts coming from the batteries and I have it set to boost it to uh, 8 volts. Um, it's a Texas Instruments part uh, chip that I actually got for free in the mail, uh, part number PTN04050C. So if you're ever needing to boost 5 volts up to anything from, I think it's like 5 to 15 volts, um, this is the thing to get. It uses two uh, 100 microfarad uh, capacitors and then just a whatever value resistor you choose um, changes the voltage output and uh, Texas Instrument even provides a spec sheet which shows you exactly what value to use to get what you want. Um, anyway, so I have it all wired up and I just did a test a moment ago and all worked and I figured I would uh, show you how it works. This is a GameCube power switch um, so it's fi finished product's going to be pretty neat but alright, here we go. There it is booting up. And you can see how those two LEDs are really, really bright. Um, but I'm going to cover that up with the case. And so you'll see a little bit of light leak coming from the side, but it won't be quite so bad. And um, it all turns on. The screen turns on. And so um, I guess moving forward.